Hi everyone, welcome to Beyond Space Event at the Tundra. In today's episode, we'll focus on Mars, especially on seismic activity on the Earth planet. The latest findings from NASA's Inside Lander show that Mars is indeed a seismically active world. So our next guest is Sava Salan of the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, Switzerland. He's an expert when it comes to Martian seismology, and he is part of the Marsquake service, which monitors the data from the inside seismic experiment for interior structure. He will shed more light on the latest findings from this instrument. So everyone, please welcome Sava Salan. Hi, Savas. Great to Hi. have you on our show. Okay. Uh, uh, thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for 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 your participation. And um, if you, we can start with um, uh, some general view of about the latest findings. So, what exactly did you find? Um, uh, what exactly did the SAIS instrument find, find lately and uh, on Mars? Well, um, we were after quakes, and we now know that there are Mars quakes. So Mars also has earthquake-like uh, 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 seismic signals that are occurring, which is a big deal because the main purpose of INSIGHT is um, understanding how planets formed. And one way of knowing this is seismology. And yeah. for seismology on Earth, as everybody knows, we use earthquakes and seismic waves. Since we have Mars quakes now, we have proven it, we can use these to understand how the planets formed, what the interior of Mars looks like, and we are on our way uh, to understand better. Yeah, so it's, it's a big deal that uh, there are Mars quakes. Yeah, so we know that there are Mars quakes. Uh, so um, uh, are they often uh, powerful? If you can compare with the earthquakes, what, what do we know about them? Uh, they are much weaker than earthquakes. Yeah. Uh, our base quakes come about um, 1,500 kilometers away from the inside lander. And they are about uh, 3.6 magnitude at average. Uh, to give you a scale, if they occurred on Earth with this noise level, we wouldn't be able to detect them at all. We know they occurred because they most of them occurred in the uh, quietest uh, period of the day during the night, uh, although they are weak signals, but the noise on Mars is also low. That's how uh, we were able to detect them and locate them. And the duration yeah. is uh, some about 20 minutes, I would say. Oh, so so yeah. it is uh, comparing to large earthquakes, uh, they are much shorter. Much shorter. Okay, and uh, if you can uh, uh, present uh, the, the SACE instrument, uh, the seismic experiment for internal structure, what kind of instrument is this? Uh, uh, how, how it detects the Mars quakes? Uh, it's very similar to the seismometers that we use on Earth, of course, but um, it, it is uh, optimized to work on, on severe conditions of Mars because of the temperature fluctuations and our seismometer is not completely isolated from uh, uh, the uh, atmosphere. On Earth, we have the luxury of burying our seismometers about a meter down inside here, so uh, they are protected from temperature fluctuations and uh, wind, etc. On Mars, we don't have it. Instead, we have a dome, what we call wind and thermal shield on top of it. Of course, it is not protecting 100%. We still get some noise. Other than that, uh, it's pretty much uh, similar to the Earth seismometers. We have what we call one very broadband seismometer and one short period seismometer complementing each other in terms of uh, their frequency ranges. Okay, thanks. Um, uh, and uh, about the, uh, if you can um, tell something more about your uh, Marsquake service. So you are constantly monitoring the Marsquakes, the Mars, uh, the, the the quake activity on Mars, right? Um, uh, watching, monitoring uh, uh, every signal, and uh, we, you are uh, constantly detecting some more, uh, more and more quakes on Mars. Uh, correct. Uh, in that sense, we are very similar to any other traditional observatory on Earth. Um, so we have satellite passes that transmit the data from lander to us uh, two or three times a day. And there is always someone on duty uh, checking the data. If we see any quakes or anything suspicious at all, we just uh, uh, have a meeting as, as a larger group, as mass quake service as a whole. And then we analyze the signal. If it is something significant, we just alert the whole science team and uh, we dig into the data to get more information. Okay, so uh, in, in your opinion, um, in general, what uh, uh, 
your latest findings about Mars activity can can tell us about the planet uh, for future missions for for under, better understanding of the, the planet as a whole. Uh, yes, it's, it's it's a very broad question. So our findings um, will have effect on um, from habitation of Mars, for for instance because we will know what Mars looks looks like. And of course, uh, it has implications on our own planet because we want to understand how planets formed, how Earth-like planets formed. And Mars is one of them. It's the closest one we could get to. That's why we are on Mars. If we want to know more about our own planet, our own home, then we need to look at other planets. That's yeah. why uh, Mars is important for us. Yeah. Uh, are you aware of uh, some other instruments or other um, uh, landers, uh, say, uh, rovers on Mars that have uh, some uh, kind of instruments uh, uh, similar to, to the SACE co compared to that can detect uh, seismic activity? Do we have some other instruments or is it just SACE on the inside lander? Uh, size is unique in that sense. We are the only one. The, the only one, so it's unique. Yeah. Uh, we have to base yeah. on the other. The other ones are yeah. mo mostly yeah, the other ones are all uh, rover missions and more geology and bio, uh, uh, biology uh, um, oriented missions. Uh, size is the only seismology oriented for now. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, Sevas, uh, uh, once again, thank you for your participation in this event. Um, thank you so much for your, the answers you have provided and for, for this uh, the brief interview. Um, good luck with your research and um, uh, it was a pleasure to host you on our show. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have Bye. a good day. Have a good day, Bye. too. Bye.